Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronix with and I try in this tutorial. I want to show you how you can easily add glow or shine to your images and also create that nice and beautiful three dimensional look, or how you can easily sculpt, sculpt rather your images to get that kind of three dimensional look to your photos in Photoshop. So, let me show you a quick before and after for this and what we're going to be achieving at the end of the tutorial. So, basically. This is the image that we have, and this is what we're going to be achieving in this tutorial. You can see that we have that nice and beautiful shine that has been introduced to the image. So this is what we're going to be achieving. I know I have a couple of tutorials ab about how to go about this, but this is, I think, a better way, and you can use it as a way to dodge and burn your images. But this technique is as well going to introduce glow or shine to skin in your images so without further ado let's get started and if i told you find the video really helpful make it a point that you hit the like button so that youtube can push and recommend this video to many people out there so i'm just going to come and i'm going to delete these layers that i've worked on and the groups so this is where we're going to be starting from in this image so what you have to understand about the concept of dodging and burning dodging and burning is more of enhancing the highlights and the shadows in the image so when we are enhancing the highlights we'll be dodging and when we are enhancing the shadows we'll be burning the image so we're just going to create a layer from the background there by pressing ctrl j twice then if at all you have been working on the image and you have a couple of layers make sure that you create a stamp visible layer so how to create that stamp visible layer simply use shift alternate control e on the keyboard if at all you're using pc then if at all you're using mac you can use shift option command e on the keyboard create a stamp visible layer and you can duplicate that layer by pressing control or command j to create another layer so you have to create two layers so we have already created them so we're going to name this into screen and you're going to name this layer into multiply so the reason for this multiply so the reason for creating these these are more of blend modes within photoshop so the screen blend mode is going to brighten up the image and the multiply blend mode is going to darken the image so this is going to be our dodge layer and this is going to be our burn layer within photoshop so basically what I'm going to do, I'm just going to turn this off and I select the screen layer like we have just named it. Just come to the blend mode and we're going to scroll down to screen and you can see immediately the image is going to become bright. So meaning it is going to brighten or it is going to make the bright parts of the image even more brighter. So remember we only want the brightness to affect the bright images or the bright areas within the image. So how to do this, simply come and double click on this layer. Yes. So just double click and it's going to open up the layer style dialog box. And after this is done, remember we have blend if right here. So make sure gray is selected and you just come to underlying layer right here. So after doing this, remember we just want to only affect the highlights. So meaning we have to take the effect away from the shadow area. So this is the shadows and this is the highlights you can see that this part right here is dark and this part right here is bright so just want to remove the effect from our bright or from the dark area so that it can only affect the bright areas so in order to do this simply left click and move these these lines and take them away from the shadows until when you feel like uh, the highlights or the brightest areas are affected but as you're doing this you may notice that the transition between the darkest areas within the image is really harsh so just stop at that point when only the brightest areas within the image are affected so in order to make this transition quite better we are just going to hold down option or the alternate key on the keyboard and while holding it down, we're just going to split these two lines just like that, just a little bit. 
I'm just going to split this even more so that it can blend better into the skin. So you can as well drag this so that you can have it blend quite well within the skin. So this is okay. And you can see immediately the skin is now getting that nice and beautiful shine or glow. I'm just going to use okay. Then come and select the multiply blend mode or the multiply layer and now activate it. Then come to the blend mode and change it to multiply. So you may notice that this is going to darken the image. Remember, the multiply blend mode is going to darken the overall image. So you're just going to do the same. Double click on this multiply layer and it's going to open up the layer style dialog box. And this time around, we're going to take the effect from the bright areas of the image. So by simply dragging this towards the dark areas. So we only want the dark areas affected in the image. So right now you can see, just drag it until when you feel like the darkest areas are just the only ones affected. So this point is okay. And now we want to fine tune this effect only affect the dark areas by holding down option or alternate. And we're just going to split this until when the effect is blended quite well or better within uh, the skin just like that so make sure you look for that nice and sweet spot for your image so this is okay for me i'm just going to come and simply hit okay so this doesn't look nice at all i know you may be wondering why we have done this so we are just going to basically group these two layers by selecting both and pressing ctrl or command g on the keyboard or you can as well select the two layers and drag them into this group then after doing this simply come and create a layer mask by clicking on this layer mask icon after doing this simply come to image and you come to apply image so when you come to apply image make sure you leave use these settings layer is merged and the channel is RGB, the blend mode has to be multiply. And now uh, what we have to do basically, opacity is 100% and mask is not checked and invert option is not turned on and simply click on OK. So this is what we have right now and you can see the before and the after, the image has shine or it has introduced that nice and beautiful glow to it. But remember, as we are brightening up this, it is also affecting uh, the eyes in this case. Just look at the eyes. But it has introduced that nice and beautiful glow. And even the darkest parts of the image are also very well handled. So what we want to do, we're just going to come to the contrast adjustment layer. And we're basically going to come to the brightness and contrast. And we're going to click on this clipping mask so that the contrast can only affect the effect below it that we have just applied to the image so just create a clipping mask just like that for the brightness and contrast and you can see it's only going to affect this layer right here and simply introduce contrast to the image and you can see this is going to make the image a little bit more contrasty but it's only going to be affecting this layer right here and you can see the before and after for the contrast. It is just affecting the effect or the layer below it. So after you have done all this, group these two layers once again by selecting both and pressing Ctrl Command G. Remember, this effect is affecting even the eye. So just want to make it affect specific areas within the skin. So after doing this, create a layer mask right once again, then press Ctrl or Command I with this white line mask selected. Press Ctrl Command I, and that is going to invert the effect. Come under the brushes and simply get the brush tool, and make sure the hardness is at zero. Opacity and the flat 100%. Make sure you have white on top right here, or you can reset by using these two small boxes. Then make sure you have white on top. You can use X on the keyboard, and with the white brush, remember in Photoshop, the white brush is going to reveal and black is going to hide that is why the white mask has hidden the effect so we're just going to simply come using our 
brush that is white and is going to reveal back the effect while we are going to paint it in those areas and this is going to make the image have that nice and beautiful glow or shine introduced in it so just look at this and just look at how nice that glow is going to be introduced and how natural it is going to look after we have been able to paint it into the skin area so you can use this you can as well use the same method or technique for digital photography if at all you do more of the digital photography so this is the before after before after and when you feel like you have slightly overdone the glow you can come the opacity and simply reduce on the opacity so basically this is the before and after and this is how to dodge and burn your images and also introduce glow or shine to your images so if i told you i found the video helpful don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe to this channel if i told you i've been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel Ronix from Moon's Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.